South. Each year, at the very first sign of winter, these great flocks of birds fly southward, honking their way to southern marshes, there to bask in that warm, tropical sun. It's their big annual affair, and they all go. Yes, they all go, but they don't all fly. <coughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> I'd like to give you a lift, but you see, I'm on my way down the Lord's Center, Rins' Street to Face, and right down across the there's no room with a couple of blocks of sailor. And I mean, Lawrence is straight to me, he's straight. Oh, well, he'll move a little slow, perhaps. But the road southward takes us through the famous Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. Nearby, in a little mountain cabin, a hillbilly father speaks to his problem child. See? You gall darn lazy varmint. You've been lying in that there bed ever since you was born. Now get up and get to work. Why, Daddy? Deeper in the mountains, we come upon a revenue agent closing in on a notorious moonshiner who soon learns that he cannot escape the long arm of the law. <laughs> and here our little traveler is about to enjoy his first taste of that well-known southern hospitality. Well, eat watermelon, eh, Sonny? Uh, you like it, eh? Uh, juicy, too. Well, you can't pay for it, can you? That's what I thought, you gold darn little pimp feathered! In rapid succession, our little friend passes through the bluegrass state of Kentucky. Through sunny Tennessee. Georgia, he pauses for a brief moment. <whistles> then stops to catch his breath on the outskirts of Atlanta. Why, it's the songbird of the South. Hello, anybody? Sorry, bud. <laughs> I'd like to give you a lift, but you see, I'm on my way down the Lord's Center, Rins' the Street to the Face, and right down across the there's no room with a couple of blocks of sailor. And I mean, Lawrence is straight to me, he's straight. Familiar to the South is the courteous Southern gentleman. Uh, your first, sir. No! Your first, sir. Mm, not at all, sir. You first, sir. Very well, sir. Y'all insist, sir. Allow me, sir. Certainly, sir. Here's a familiar sight. Happy, carefree cotton pickers. Uh, I hear you're having trouble with your children, Cindy Lou. 
for a ride is our little goose. What's this? Oh, it's you again. Well, I, I'd like to give you a little bit. You see, I can't roar with silver in my James. We're going to my way roar with silver in the morning. Oh, the greatest invention of Great interest are the vast tobacco fields, but even more interesting are the tobacco workers. For as we approach, we find they have a strange new language of their own. <laughs> The last leg of our journey through the steaming Everglades of Florida. Here, every step is fraught with danger. Death lurks on every side. Look, sitting there in the gaping mouth of an alligator is an innocent little child. Quick, child, come out of that alligator's mouth. This ain't no alligator. This is the hollow tree. Why, that's an alligator. Uh-uh, it's the hollow tree. It's an alligator. I could be wrong, you know. At last, the long journey is ended. And here, by the sparkling waters of a winter's paradise, our little traveler stops for a well-earned rest. Uh-oh, uh, 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 uh. here's that man again. Well, 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 if it ain't the little footloose goose. Well, bud, <laughs> I'd sure like to give you a lift, but you see, I'm on Royce's Royce to get ready to it. There's no use getting it for the street down, because I'm on the water with him, the hymn is to bring the water. <laughs> 